the faith of Abraham. Hebrews 11 and verse 8 By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance and he went out, not knowing where he was going. Now, it wouldn't take long for us to notice that Abraham stepped out on a journey uh, without knowing the clear end to it. And a journey like that is definitely a journey of faith when you do not know where God is leading you, when you do not know um, how you're going to get there. And that's why Abraham is known as a man of faith. He stepped out on the word of God. That was enough for him to, to begin to move. And even in our lives, uh, sometimes we just have to uh, step out on the basis of the word of God. We may not have, uh, you know, many pieces of the puzzle. We may not know uh, the next five steps ahead. Uh, all we know is the next step and that's good enough. Like Abraham, we will be called people of faith if we just go by the voice of God and take that step. Though we don't know where exactly we're going, we just move uh, and that is faith. Let's uh, study a little more, little more about the life of Abraham. Uh, Hebrews 11 verses 9 and 10, you know, we read about Abraham that by faith he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. So Abraham began his journey in faith. Abraham lived his life in faith and you know he died in faith. How do we know that? Uh, we, we read about Abraham living uh, in tents which means that the promise that God spoke to Abraham of giving him that promised land never happened in Abraham's lifetime. So Abraham died with faith knowing that his descendants one day would possess the land. Now, uh, God is still pleased with Abraham, which is why this is recorded uh, in the Bible for us. Abraham never walked in the promised land, but Abraham is a man of faith. All he owned was, you know, when he was buried, he just owned that piece of land. And, and, and uh, he, you know, Sarah was also given a piece of land for her body to be buried. And those are the only two pieces of land that they actually owned, uh, but they had the hope that God someday, as he had promised, would give the promised land to his disciple, uh, to the descendants. Uh, and that's the faith of Abraham. Even though he didn't physically own the land, he had hope in God. And that makes him a man of faith. And just one other thing about the faith of Abraham, uh, and this is recorded in, in verses 17 to 19 of Hebrews 11, where we read about Abraham, again, by faith, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Right? And later on, in, in verse 19, you read that Abraham believed that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from which he also received him in a figurative sense. So just think about the, the faith of Abraham. You know, Abraham had faith uh, to to have Isaac as a son. He waited so long for Isaac and Isaac was finally there. And then what happens? When God asks Abraham if he's willing to sacrifice Isaac, Abraham continues to be a man of faith. And in his heart, he knows, even if, even if this, this promise in my hand, even if this gift in my hand, for whatever reason, you know, I, I have to sacrifice it. God is a God of resurrection. He can bring it back into my life. So I'm just going to be obedient to God. Let's have Abraham's kind of faith. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, this day we seek you. Lord, like Abraham, give us, O oh God, a, a, a revelation of who you are so that we can trust in you through delays. Lord, we can trust in you, Father God, in hope that we can trust in you, O oh God, even during the times of trial, knowing that you are the God of resurrection and that, Father, you will, will never, uh, go, Lord, uh, let us go, Father, but you will fulfill your promises in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.